Hi, it's Tybug, and welcome to part two of my Peacock Feather Crafts. So the last one was <laughs> a disaster, but that's typical for me. It happens a lot. So this time we're going to be doing a tiara with my remaining peacock feathers. This is just a headband from my local craft store. So you're going to start off by putting your hair back because you can't do anything with your hair in your face, huh? I'm surprised I haven't shaved my head yet because I hate having my hair everywhere. Quick disclaimer, I'm dealing with feathers from a wild animal, so if you're doing the same, you shouldn't touch your eyes, nose, mouth, because there could be diseases, we don't know. Just be careful when you're dealing with feathers from any wild animal. Oops. And another disclaimer, I did get these from a wild peacock, but I didn't by any means approach the peacock or take the feathers from the peacock. The peacock was hanging out in my neighborhood and it dropped the feathers due to molting by my house. I collected the feathers when the peacock was long gone. You should never approach a wild animal, even if it may seem domesticated, because they are still wild animals. Got it? Got it? Oh, good? Good. If you want to recreate this project, I suggest getting peacock feathers from your local craft store. I've seen them. They may not be, they may actually be easier to do than this because in the wild things are variables, there are different variables, there are changes. So if you want to do this, get it from your local craft store. Don't approach a wild animal or take feathers from a wild animal because that's rude. It's dangerous and just don't, okay? I think that's everything. If I think of more, I'll just like write it. Okay, be safe guys. So this time I'm gonna try and plan it out more. Wow, what a shocker, huh? Not typical of me, not at all. So I have my glue gun heating up already. I should have parental supervision with this. For this, you just want your feathers to be really short. This would be a great project to do before Halloween. If you want a peacock tiara if you're going to be a peacock for Halloween. That'd be cool. Not a lot of people do that because it's hard. You can wear this on your head with like a little tutu, a rainbow tutu. I got you. It's September. Halloween came early this year. Halloween comes early every year. I'm sorry, I'm contributing to that. Actually, no, I'm not. I love Halloween. <laughs> I have the fan on because I'm burning up. Burning up in here. Wait, what, how's the Jonas Brothers song go? Cue music. if you're just like experimenting with projects always leave room for error let me find the center oh, it blew right into the trash my ideas are not trash okay you're gonna take your hot glue gun and finding the center not even dry. I mean, it was not even hot. So I guess we're gonna have to wait longer. Okay, so we're gonna have to pause because this glue is old as a dinosaur. And I'm gonna have to go back to the craft store, get some new glue. Maybe a new glue gun because I don't know how long this glue has been in here. So this may be bad anyways. do anything easy on this channel, can we? Oh well. Guess we'll do a little cut. And we're back. So I got 
got a new glue gun. I just had a brain fart. I got a new glue gun. I actually brought a marker this time so I can mark where the halfway point is. And yeah, just waiting for it to heat up right now. It's brand new, so it better work. And I would just like to clarify something about this channel. We don't intentionally screw up here. We're not intentionally messing up just so it can be a fail video. I'm genuinely trying my hardest. It's just, life all it doesn't always work out that way. You mess up in life. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't mean it's a fail. It just didn't work out that time. Maybe it's a fail of someone else's standards, but hey, at least you're trying. And that's what I'm showing you here today. It's like, it's okay to try and mess up. It's okay that you're not the best at something. Cause like you'll watch YouTube videos and everyone will be perfect at doing crafts, doing their nails, doing makeup, cooking. Not everyone is perfect at everything they do. So I guess I'm just here being a little inspirational for you all. Showing you that, hey, YouTubers mess up. I'm not calling myself a YouTuber yet, but people mess up in life. People can't do everything perfectly. And when you mess up, you find a way to overcome it. And by overcoming this mess up, I lost my train of thought. But you know what I'm saying. We got this. So let's put our hair back. And let's get down to business. Cute, huh? And I got my harito. I found out that this doesn't have caffeine, so I don't know what this, what it is about this that just gives me so much energy. Guava flavored. I know, I just poked myself in the eye with this. Remember how I said not to get this by your eyes? If you notice me hunching over, it's because if I sit up straight, my forehead's cut off. And like, if I have it too tall, then it just... This is what we're working with, okay? Okay, so like I said in my last video, it's easy to take the side parts off and just kind of peel it down. But you gotta be careful because this does trim down the, the support part of the feather, I guess you could call it. I could trim it. Like while you're doing this, clean it up. Okay, 
I'm just kind of eyeballing it and using like what spaces to make it even. So far. So I'm gonna leave this open because if I put feathers there, it kind of overlaps this and then you just can't see it. Okay, now these two. Okay, I guess I might as well do this side one. So then it's even. Even Steven. but I feel like if I add more right now, it's just gonna mess it up, and right now I'm feeling pretty confident with it. So I'm gonna leave it at this. I think if you wanna make, cause this looks like a disaster here, maybe get some construction paper, or um, at craft stores I have that like kinda squishy paper. What is that called? I don't know what it's called, but it's like kinda squishy paper and it's soft. Get like some of that, the sparkly kind, and put it over that. That would be kinda hard cause it has to turn, but I think it'd be fine. And they have like tiaras that are kind of made out of that material. And you could just glue feathers on top of that if you want. But I think gonna leave it at this. And um, or maybe you could put gemstones on top of it. I don't know, be creative. But this is how you make the crown kind of thing. You get one long piece, set that, 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 English, help me. You get one long piece, you stick that down. You get the two kind of fatter ones and do a little framing and then one smaller one and just do some detailing. So this is the finished product. How's it look? Can you even see it? Dealing with hot glue is hard as AF. Hard AF. Don't touch your tongue. Don't touch your tongue. Woo! So yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. to leave so much behind and I, it felt wrong to just throw them away so i'll see you guys next week i don't know what i'm doing yet which is typical so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next week bye